Um, so as you guys know, uh, one of the first things we looked at is um, why we trust strangers, how we can be around strangers, why we donate to charity, uh, why we're, we're, you know, we engage in all these helping activities. And again, the evolutionary story is clear. It embeds us in, co as, in community as social creatures. We need others to be around us. And so we get kind of um, social benefit from that. Even if no one's looking, we'll still do it because who knows? I can tell people. Um, and we found that this neurochemical oxytocin that prior to the, to the late 90s we started doing this was only known uh, to facilitate birth, breastfeeding, uh, and sex that this was actually a potent neurochemical and was a key part of the signaling process in the brain that says, Aisha's wonderful, happy to interact with her, and Dean, super sketchy guy, got to stay away, get me in, uh, you know, flight mode, um, right? So yeah. that, that's a good question, right? Which is, you know, the, the fear response is easy to study, but that uh, motivation for um, positive behaviors, and then that opens up a lot of questions. What promotes or inhibit oxytocin? Where's that variation come from? What about people who are abused and neglected? What about psychiatric patients? What about people on drugs? And so that was really a, you know, a kind of a two decade research program that led into the development of technologies so that not only have we created knowledge that scholars can read, but create technologies that people can use to really live more fulfilled lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, uh